I'm back to give you a short tutorial on the fifth out of eight etudes by Johannes Donjon. This is called Gigue. Being a French composer, uh, Donjon had this flair for the dramatic during this century. So I really appreciate how much everyone is using their musical minds to bring out the characters. Speaking of character, I really think this is operetta in style. You'll hear it because it's got an upper voice and a lower voice, and then we have the accompaniment. A jig is hearkening back to the Baroque and Renaissance dance, so it's not a race to the finish. It's actually very much styled. Um, I would vary the articulation from double tongue to single tongue, and or single tongue and double tonguing. Uh, you can do longer tonguing. You can definitely arrive a longer on the ending notes. Um, slur it to figure out the melody, but I definitely think that there's a melody in the upper voice and um, then in the lower voice two bars later. And then in um, in the following bars, they vie for the melody. So you have this. And then the next two bars, it's in the lower voice. And then they vie for attention, teasing each other. So you might want to put that into your interpretation. All of the leaps that you see, they take air effort, but not a lot of stress effort. So keep the air flowing and light. You might be paralyzed in fear over the tongue, but I have addressed that in several other teachings uh, that you can find on my channel. But I will reiterate that it is just the tip. You don't need to be moving it way back here. And it's just tapping the air as it comes out. So one thing I would suggest to make friends with the tenths and the thirteenths in this um, and beyond in this etude is to fill in the intervals. Let's do the thirteenth in the first bar. And then the tenth. Because after all, music is in between the notes. So. Now, Samuel Barron also taught me a really wonderful exercise, and it is on my website. It's called evening out. It's not evening out, but it's evening out. So you want to even out the registers. If you have everything in the upper register, it sounds like this, and you can get to know the melody. And then you can put everything in the lower octave. That will solidify the melody in your head so that no matter what register you're in, you know what note you should be playing. Now when we get to the cadenza, it's uh, the high A fermata, and then you have this scale. And it's, a easy, it's an easy scale. Don't make the last note uh, the arrival, but make it the result. So you won't bang. Now, when you get to the vif at the end, that's a fermata over the 30 second rest. I feel like that's the orchestra or the accompaniment taking us out of the operetta. Absolutely, you could double tongue that. You could even, you know, double the tempo. So, I hope I've helped. And here is the Gigue by Johannes Donjon.
Thank <laughs> you.